Welcome to Liberty Explained. My name is Chris Spangle. Thank you so much for joining me. And Liberty Explained is your guide to libertarianism. We break down politics and libertarianism and apply it to your questions, which you can write in and ask at ask at wearelibertarians.com. And please go to libertyexplained.com so you can find all kinds of different resources about a variety of issues, as well as lots of resources like great book recommendations. Today is a spicy question. Can you be a Nazi or a racist and be a libertarian? This question involves the concept of applying the label libertarian to one's identity. The traditional definition of libertarianism denies using force as a tool for political or social change. So it is possible that one could hold racist beliefs while not wanting to use the government to implement their ends, however ugly that may be. The problem is that Nazis, nationalists, and racists don't ever stop right at the end of their driveway. All three are a form of collectivism that usually leads a person to see force as a tool for social change. Libertarianism rejects all forms of collectivism. We embrace individualism and individual rights. This means supporting the right of individuals to live their lives as they see fit, free from collective or state control. It means recognizing the dignity and worth of all individuals. And libertarians want to protect any minority group from the schemes of the majority to use its power to hurt those out of power. Also, free markets demand peaceful cooperation between different groups or factions. So there really isn't a financial incentive to hold these beliefs in a free society. This lessens the likelihood of these ideologies existing. So as a result of all of this, government force always ends up being necessary to enshrine and protect these twisted ideologies because most people reject them. Because deep down, most people want to strive to recognize the dignity of all individuals. And that is at the core of libertarianism. I hope this answers your question. Thank you so much for joining me here on Liberty Explained. My name is Chris Spangle. If you have a question, ask at wearelibertarians.com. We really appreciate your time. And if you got something out of this video, then please share it with your friends.